a day with Dr Hamster. Pepper and Susie are spending the day with Dr Hamster. They are learning all about what vets do. It's very nice to have two helpers with me today. And I see one of you is dressed as a nurse. Yes, I am Nurse Susie. <laughs> I am Dr Piggy. <laughs> very good. I'll just call in the first patient. Lots of pets have been brought to see Dr Hamster. Thank you all for waiting. Next patient, please. That's you, Nigel. Grumpy Rabbit has brought Nigel the Newt in for a checkup. Nurse Susie and Dr Piggy are with me today. We are learning about being vets. Jolly good. Now then, Nigel, how are we today? Oh, good, you're fine. That's great. Just make sure Nigel drinks lots of water. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now then, can Nurse Susie and Dr Piggy call in our next patient? Thank you all for waiting. Next patient, please. Pedro is here with Stephen the Stick Insect. Hello, Peppa. Just for today, can you call me Dr Piggy? OK, Peppa. Let's have a little look at you, Stephen. Something's wrong. He's not moving. That's what stick insects do. They keep still and look like sticks. Oh, yes. Of course. So, is Stephen all right? Apparently, yes. Just make sure Stephen drinks lots of water. Goodbye. Bye. Can I call the next patient? Yes, please. Next! Oh, that's me! I have brought my two guinea pigs to see you. They're adorable! <coughs> Ginger is clever <coughs> and Brian is sensitive. <coughs> yes? But now they have swapped around. Brian is clever <coughs> and Ginger is being sensitive. <coughs> They both look happy to me. Oh, that's good. I'm so glad I came. Just make sure they drink lots of water. Next! That's me and Polly Parrot. Me and Polly Parrot? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Copies everything that is said. So, what's wrong with Polly? Polly's got a cough. <laughs> that is a very unusual cough. I've never heard a cough like it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Polly hasn't got a cough. Polly is copying Grandpa Pig. Copying Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no problem then. Polly is fine. But what about me? I really do have a cough. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sorry, Grandpa Pig. I can't treat you. I'm a vet. I can only treat animals. Yes, of course. Just make sure Polly drinks lots of water. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm a bit tired now. I hope we don't have lots more pets to see. The waiting room is still full. Oh. OK, everyone. Just make sure your pets drink water. Goodbye. <laughs> That's it. No more patients to see. We can call it a day. What's that noise? Look, there's a box moving in the corner. That's Tiddles the Tortoise. He's waking up. What's he doing in a box? He's been sleeping all through the winter. It's what tortoises do. <sighs> you must be hungry after all that sleeping. I'm thirsty. <laughs> That's right, Dr Piggy. Tiddles needs water. That's right, Nurse Susie. Have you both enjoyed learning how to be vets? It was brilliant. The best day ever. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love being vets. Everyone loves being vets. <laughs> Pepper and George are visiting Mrs Badger's farm. Pepper, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur! <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. <laughs> 
It is a traffic jam. Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. We were just talking about tractors. Pepper and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. <laughs> we'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. No, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels. And a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! It's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. <laughs> no traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs. Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Peppa loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. <laughs> Guinea pigs. Peppa is at playgroup with her friends. <laughs> Today, children, I would like to show you my pet guinea pigs. Aww. They're so Cute. This is Ginger. He is very clever. <coughs> and this is Brian. He is very sensitive. <coughs> now, children, I am going on holiday next week, and I need to find someone to look after Ginger and Brian. Me, me, me. It's a bit of work, and you will need to take them home. Me, me. Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I love animals. <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. It is home time. Mummy, mummy, look what I've got. Oh, what's that? Ginger and Brian. Peppa?
Papa has very kindly agreed to look after my guinea pigs for the week. <coughs> I see. Everything you need is here. Right. I suppose they're easy to look after. Oh, yes. This chart shows when they need feeding and when they are to be brushed. Brushed? Yes, they like to be brushed at these times each day. I see. And one brush in the middle of the night. Anything else? They do get lonely, so you must sleep in the same room as them. OK. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. We will look after Ginger and Brian. Thank you, Peppa. Bye-bye. Bye. Ginger and Brian have arrived at Peppa's home. <laughs> Hello. This is Madam Gazelle. I forgot. You need hay for the guinea pigs. But you can buy it from the pet shop. OK. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Goodbye. What's that? Um, the guinea pigs need hay from the pet shop. Right. Who wants to come to the pet shop? Me! Me! <laughs> See you later. This is the pet shop. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking after Madame Gazelle's guinea pigs. Oh, yes. Ginger is the clever one and Brian is sensitive. Apparently, we need hay. Well, there is standard hay, premium hay or super premium deluxe hay. Super premium deluxe hay? Yes. It is more money, but that's the one Ginger and Brian like. It is bedtime at Peppa's house. Are you happy, Ginger and Brian? They have had food, water and very expensive hay. I don't think they could be any happier. Madame Gazelle said they get lonely. Yes, so I will be sleeping here to make sure they don't get lonely. And to brush them in the night time? Yes, Peppa. Brush them in the night time. Night, night! It is the middle of the night. Ooh. Hello? Daddy Pig here? Hello! This is Madame Gazelle. I just thought I would ring to remind you about the brushing. Yes. We're brushing them now. What? Who? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, very good. I do hope they are no trouble. They're no trouble oh. at all. <laughs> Peppa and George have been looking after Ginger and Brian all week. They are so adorable. <laughs> Here is Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle, you're back from your holiday. Yes, I came straight from the airport. How are Ginger and Brian? They are very happy. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Peppa, for all your hard work looking after them. It was easy. Would you like to look after them the next time I go on holiday? Ooh. Uh... Um... Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa loves looking after guinea pigs. Everyone loves looking after guinea pigs. Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. What game should we play today? Let's play adventures. Outside our clubhouse is a forest full of yes, dangerous, yes, yes. wild yes, animals. Yes, yes. I'll email the numbers over later when I've got access to the... The print. wild animals are yes, outside. Yes, yes. As long as we stay inside, we are safe. Yes, yes. I like this game. <laughs> the spreadsheet numbers were copy and pasted from documents. Daddy! Daddy! Uh, I'll call you back. Someone's asking me something. You have to be a wild animal. Oh, ho, ho. I think I can manage that. You are in a forest. OK. I'll be a wild pig. <laughs> I'm a dangerous wild pig living in the forest. And we are safe in our little house. <laughs> we need more wild animals. Mummy! Yes, Mandy? You have to be a scary animal. Um, OK. I will be a wild mouse. Squeak, squeak. <gasps> Mummy, that's not even a little bit scary. Sorry. Can you growl? Growl? Well, I could have a go, but I'm not sure. Ah! Oh, my goodness, Mummy Polar Bear. You give me a shock. Grrr! Polar bears like growling. Wow, they are good. 
My mummies are best at growling. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky we're safe inside. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get us. Our house is too strong. What's your house made of? Straw, sticks or brick? Um, it's made of... plastic? Jolly good. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The clubhouse is very strong. Impressive. Yes, Daddy. So you will have to stay outside with the other wild animals. Let's make the game more scary. Yes, we can pretend there's a jungle outside with real jungle animals. We need a jungle animal. Like a tiger! Ooh, I can sound like a tiger. Is that any good? No. Well, how about a lion? Stop, Mummy! My friends are here! I can roar! That's really good! Ho, oh, oh, ho! I am a bit of an expert. No one can do a lion better than me! No. It is Mr Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Mr. Lion. Hello. And here is Mrs. Crocodile. Uh, we've had a problem at the zoo. Uh, don't panic, but some animals have escaped. <laughs> oh, we heard lots of strange noises coming from here and wondered if the zoo animals had passed this way. Uh, those noises were just us. We were playing at being wild animals. I see. <laughs> we'll be on our way then. Um, these escaped animals you're looking for, what are they? Do they have big teeth? No, they've got beaks. Do they roar? No, they make a sound like... Penguins! It is the penguins from the zoo. Oh, they're so cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are, you cheeky penguins. <laughs> they're always running away. They think having me and Mrs. Crocodile chase after them is a fun game. Hello, penguins. Would you like to see our clubhouse? Here's the slide. And here is our swing. Penguins, do you like our clubhouse? The penguins love the clubhouse. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Pepper is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. <laughs> Here is Mr. Bull. He has come to mend the library roof. Sorry, Miss Rabbits. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartars is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Thank goodness you're here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or... Oh, a ladder. What a bit of luck. There was already a ladder here. There. Finished. Lovely job. Ladder coming through. Stand back, everyone. Got you. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. Oh, I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Oh, 
Hold tight, Mr. Ball. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Bull. Hang on. This is my ladder. Yes. Lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh, so how am I going to get down? In the library, Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! Hello, rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. Please rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad! Hello, a Grampy Rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grampy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on! I'm coming up! Thank goodness! I'm saved! Miss Rabbit is rescued! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me, Dad. Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit and Grampy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at Madame Gazelle is taking Pepper and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Ah! Here is Mr Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr Lion. You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, oh, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the Rocky Wilderness. 
here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Hiya, mummy! <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. Squeak! <laughs> to you, Daddy! <laughs> yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Nay. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing! How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please can we do the siren. Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super. And Danny Dog? My daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now daddy has come home to me and mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. 
sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Ah, oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. Rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <laughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <laughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa loves families. Everyone loves families. Her and her friends are at playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, as a special treat, some of you are going to spend a day with the police. As a prisoner? <laughs> no, Freddy. As a guest. They will join us as we drive around in our police car helping people. Who would like to go? Me! Me! OK, Peppa and Freddy. <laughs> this is the police car. Have fun! I will call you when it is the children's lunchtime. Right you are, Madam Gazelle. See you later. Don't be late. We are having sandwiches and jelly. Sandwiches and jelly, eh? Mmm, delicious. The police like sandwiches and jelly. <laughs> Can we use the siren, please? I'm afraid not, Freddy. The siren is to be used only for emergencies. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, dear. There is a traffic jam. We need to get past all these cars to see what the problem is. Can we use the siren now? Yes. This is just the sort of emergency the siren is for. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> It is Mr Stallion. His car has broken down. The police! Thank goodness you're here! What seems to be the trouble? My car is broken! Don't worry, Mr Stallion. We'll sort this out. Thank you. No need to thank us. We're just doing our job. Car parked in middle of road and obstructing traffic. Now we simply move the car out of the way. Ugh, there! And the traffic can move again. Hooray! Emergency over. Bye-bye, Mr Stallion! Bye-bye! Bye! So you see, children, our day is full of emergencies like that. We never know what will come next. Calling all police. Calling all police. Who's that? It's the police station. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Emergency. Cat stuck up a tree. Another emergency. Can we use the siren again? Of course, Freddy. We've got a cat to rescue. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? It's Mr Cat. Meow! Mr. Cat is stuck in the tree. What are you doing up there? I climbed up. Why? It seemed like a good idea at the time. <sighs> and now you're stuck? Yes. It's a good thing we're around to help, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> I'll get the ladder. Don't worry, Mr. Cat. We'll get you down. <laughs> Emergency over. Hooray! Sorry, the tree looked like it would be good fun to climb. Yes, it's not a good idea to have a tree here. Dangerous tree in wrong place. 
So, children, have you enjoyed your day with the police? It's been brilliant! I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. Calling the police. Another emergency? How exciting! <laughs> Police Officer Panda, receiving you loud and clear. Over. This is Madame Gazelle. Pepper and Freddy are late for their lunch. Remember, it is sandwiches and jelly. Over. Late for sandwiches and jelly? Now that's what I call a real emergency. So, can we use the... Use the siren? Of course. It's what the siren was built for. Hooray! Pepper and Freddy love the police car. Everyone loves the police. Pepper and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Win a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh! Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world, so we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket! <gasps> what does that mean? Yes. It means we're going to America. America! Pepper and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America, I think. Does anyone know where it is? I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming in to land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No! This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. Wow! The buildings are so tall. First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow. wow! Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope, you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy. There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulbiest square in all the world. Oh, look. Super Potato! Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Hash Brown, Vegetables in Space! That's a movie we're going to be in! Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood! Yes. Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. On wheels! Ooh. Ooh! Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? And meet Hash Brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh, 
I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep for the journey ahead. Potty training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper and George. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Would Teddy like some tea? Yes, please. Teddy loves tea. <laughs> Here you are, then. Thank you very much. <laughs> George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr. <laughs> George likes playing with Mr Dinosaur. Oh. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> Poo-poo! Mummy! <laughs> George is done poo-poo! Do you need the potty, George? Too late for the potty. <sighs> oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. <sighs> That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy? <laughs> Why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Pepper. He is potty training. Hmm. He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Pepper. You were just the same once. What? <laughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Pepper. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. Now I remember sitting on the potty like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty. That's right, potty. If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play Giants! <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum I smell the smell of a clean, fresh George <laughs> Quick, George, hide from the Giants! <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep Have you seen a little piggy? around here. <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? Yes. <laughs> he went that way. Come back, you cheeky piggy. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Wee-wee. Mummy, Daddy, George wants his potty. Come on, George. Let's get you to your potty. George is on his potty. <laughs> well done, Pepper, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Ho, oh, oh, ho. The magic word is potty. So when you want to go, call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. <laughs> <laughs> How high can you throw the ball, Peppa? Really high. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> Catch the ball, George. <laughs> George, do you need the potty? Potty! 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 Hang on, George. We've got the potty. Well done, George. You called for the potty. Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up, like me. <laughs> <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. Mountain climbing. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grampy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today 
we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes. Once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter. Brilliant. Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bubbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on. Like this. Wow. Who wants a go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Pepper is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes. Which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! <laughs> oh, dear. George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George! Mummy's coming! Stop! You can't climb without a rope! It's against the rules! No time for rules! I have to rescue George! <laughs> Mummy's here! Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Hooray! Good! Down you come, George! Well done, George! <laughs> Hello? What about me? How do I get down? Hmm, for you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, Dad! You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right there. Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun, I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. <laughs> George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. Daddy, can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes. 
I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Pepper. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Pepper. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? Oh. <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Peppa a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Peppa. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Peppa, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this. <laughs> Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow, that's so good. Can you do that, Daddy? Um, I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, hadn't realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... Oh! Wow, look at him go! Ah! <laughs> My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. Today, Peppa and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day! Perfect for walking! <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Pepper. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. Um, want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Pepper and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top, 
because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <laughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. Oh, nearly there, George. <laughs> it is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, oh. I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um... When I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing! What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me, and juices for Pepper and George. Of course! Thank you! Thank you! Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes! It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh! This isn't the top! What? No, you have to keep going up, that way. OK, we've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Mummy, why did they make hills so big? Oh, I don't know, Peppa. I hope <sighs> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes. I hope so, too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. <laughs> 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 Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> And Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. <laughs> I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! Your 
going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. Oh, I'm an old lady. You see, children? Old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! <laughs> Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop! Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can... Go! go! <laughs> Wait for us! <laughs> Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone. Health check. Today, Peppa is going to the doctors for a health check. Are we all ready? Yes, I've got Teddy. And I've got the red book. What's the red book? It's your very own book, Peppa. It helps the doctor see how you are growing up. Ooh! Pepper has arrived at the doctor's. Here is Dr Brown Bear. Hello, Pepper. Have you come for your health check? Yes, I have. And did you bring your red book with you? Yes, I did. <coughs> and I brought Teddy too. Very good. You're seeing Dr Polar Bear today. Ah, that means she's ready to see you. This is Dr Polar Bear. Hello. Who do we have here? I'm Peppa Pig. And who is this? Teddy. Has Teddy come to see what happens at a health check? Yes. Lovely. And did you bring your red book? Here it is. Excellent. Let's start by seeing how tall you are. Come and stand by the wall here, please, Peppa. <laughs> That's it. I'm a big girl now. Yes, you are. Dr Polar Bear writes how tall Pepper is in the red book. Now, hop onto these scales for me, please. Scales show how heavy you are. That's good. Now, I will listen to your heart with my stethoscope. A stethoscope makes your heart sound louder. Dr. Polar Bear can hear Peppa's heart beating. Would you like to listen? Yes, please. <laughs> it's going bumpy dump, bumpy dump, bumpy dump. <laughs> and now Teddy. Is Teddy's heart going bumpy dump, bumpy dump? No, Teddy's heart doesn't do that because Teddy is a doll. Oh, I see. Now I'll check your ears with my special torch. <laughs> it 
tickles. That's all lovely. Now I'll check your mouth. Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Wonderful. Do you want to check my nose? <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. I can see that your nose is working very well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you jump up and down. <laughs> I love jumping up and down. And flap your arms. Okay. <laughs> Super. Now, do you like eating fruit and vegetables? Yes, I do. What are your favourite fruit and vegetables? I like apples and oranges and bananas. Good. And do you like broccoli? Mm, I like broccoli a little bit. OK. But I love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti isn't a vegetable, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I love spaghetti too. <laughs> is Peppa up to date with her vaccinations? Yes, she is. A vaccination stops you getting ill. Very good. Well done, Pepper. That's the end of your health check. Would you like a sticker? Yes, please. Mummy Pig, are there any questions that you want to ask me? Oh, I can't think of any. I have some questions. OK. How big and heavy are you? <laughs> I am just the right size for a polar bear. And do you like eating broccoli? I like broccoli a little bit. Good. You can have a sticker too. Thank you, Peppa. Teddy eats lots of broccoli. Well, Teddy must have a sticker then. And Mummy can have a sticker because she eats broccoli too. Oh, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your red book back, all up to date. Thank you, Dr Polar Bear. Did you enjoy coming today, Peppa? Yes, it was really fun. <laughs> Peppa loves having a health check. <laughs> Everyone loves having a health check. The park. Today, Peppa and her family are at the park. There are so many fun things to do in the park. What shall we start with? Let's go to the little bridge and say hello to the ducks. Quack, quack, yes, the ducks. Here is the little bridge. Zoe Zebra is here. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Peppa. Oh, where are the ducks? I think they are hiding. Let's call them. Ducks, where are you? Come out now, wherever you are. Here is Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Here are the baby ducklings. Ooh. They are so sweet. Quack! Peppa likes talking to ducks. Everyone likes talking to ducks. What a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's visit the bouncy tree. This is the bouncy tree. Danny Dog is already on it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Ready, steady, bounce! <laughs> bounce, bounce! George wants a go. OK, George, I'll lift you on, but I'll keep hold of you. George is a bit too little to bounce on the branch on his own. Ready, steady, steady bounce! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough bouncing for today. See you later. Bye, Danny. So, what's next? I think it's the hopping logs. These are the hopping logs. Susie Sheep is here. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Susie. Watch me. I can do it without touching the ground. Hooray! <coughs> My go. Uh -oh. Now it is George's turn. There you go, George. <laughs> oh. Ooh, it's a big gap, isn't it, George? Would you like some help? 
One day, when George is big like me, he will be able to do it on his own. <laughs> What's next? It has to be the monkey bars. <laughs> Here are the monkey bars. Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are trying to swing across them. It is difficult not to let go of the monkey bars. My turn! You just have to swing like a monkey. Look! It's easy when you're big and strong like me. You're not swinging, you're walking. <laughs> cheeky Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy is a cheeky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> I can't hold on. Oof! It's impossible! George wants to go. Oh, George, you are too little. Even I can't do it. Hmm, maybe being little might help. <laughs> Hooray! What can we do now? Well, there's one thing in the park that we absolutely have to do. I think I know what that is. Um... It has something to do with your boots. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles! The park has lots of muddy puddles for Peppa and her friends to jump in. This is brilliant! Peppa loves the park. Everybody loves the park. It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. I'm a tiny little fairy. <laughs> what a noisy little fairy. <laughs> Mummy, I'm going to magic you into a frog. Oh dear, please don't. If you turn me into a frog, I'll have to live in a pond on my own and I will be so sad. <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy. It's just pretend. I know, Peppa. I'm pretending too. That's why I winked. What? When someone closes one eye, it is a wink and it means that they are pretending. So, you were pretending to be sad? Yes. It was a joke. Ah, so you were trying to make a joke. It wasn't a very funny joke. <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. Zoe Zebra has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Zoe. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Zoe has her toy monkey. Monkey says, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let's play in my bedroom. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> How are you today, monkey? <coughs> oh, dear. Monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> That's not monkey coughing. That's you. No, monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> Why are you closing and opening your eyes? I am closing one eye because I'm winking. Why? You wink to tell people it's pretend. And monkey has a cough. <coughs> Oh, it's a game. <laughs> Here is George. <laughs> so, Dr George, monkey has a bad cough. Dr George, what cure do you suggest for the cough? It's just pretend, George. That's why we are winking. <laughs> Daddy Buzz! Good advice, Dr George. Monkey must go to bed <laughs> and not watch any TV. No fun for Monkey until he is better. <laughs> Thank you, Dr George. <laughs> Daddy Pig has arrived home from work. I'm home. Hello, Daddy Pig. Daddy, Daddy, Monkey had a cough. Dr George told us to put Monkey to bed with no TV. And now Monkey is better. Is there something wrong with your eyes? No, Daddy. We are winking. Oh? It's just pretend. Oh, I see. That is clever. 
And you learned how to wink today, did you? Yes! Well, I learned something new today, too. I learned how to talk like a pirate. Ha ha! Jim lad, shiver me timbers. Arr! Why did you learn to talk like a pirate? Well, you see, I've given up my old job and I've got a new job as a pirate. Daddy Pig, shouldn't we have discussed this first? <laughs> Daddy is just joking, Mummy. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. <laughs> oh, poor Daddy Pig. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that pirate voice. <laughs> <coughs> Are you pretending, Daddy? No, Peppa. I think this is a real cough. <coughs> Daddy Buzz! Yes, Dr George says straight to bed. And no TV for ten years. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound fun. Hmm. I know a nicer way to cure a cough. Oh? You have to wiggle your ears, <coughs> jump up and down... And quack like a duck. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. What? <laughs> you winked, Mummy. Oh, oh, you're just joking. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves joking. <laughs> Everyone loves joking. Mountain climbing. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes, once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter! Brilliant! Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah! And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bobbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow! Who wants a go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Pepper is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes, which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high. George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! <laughs> oh, dear. George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George. Mummy's coming. Stop! You can't climb without a rope. It's against the rules. No time for rules. I have to rescue George. <laughs> Mummy's here. Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. 
<laughs> Hello? What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, Dad! You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right there. Hang on, Mummy Pig. Woohoo! Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun, I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Pepper and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! Hoopla! Very good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> now, lie your hoops on the ground. Add the jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 Spin the hoop around your middle like this. Wow! Madame Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try! Uh, uh, Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madame Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go a uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. And you roll them like this. Good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Pepper. Ready, steady, go! Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> 
I think this will do it. You've got to spin the hoop. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! <laughs> you clever piggies. Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Pepper and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I it's a rainbow parachute. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding onto the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye bye to the boat. Bye bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two, three, and lift. Up, up, up. And let go. Wow. The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. It really is spinning. Wow! How does it do that? If you want the full explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games. Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow Pepper loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Flying discs. Today
Today, Pepper and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. Ooh, what is it? It's a flying disc. <laughs> wow, that is good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. <laughs> to you, Mummy Pig. <laughs> to you, Pepper. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's okay, Pepper. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. Okay. Hold it flat and spin it. To you, George. <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George. <laughs> Got you. To you, Pepper. What? Got you! Oh, our disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen a blue disc? Yes, I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy, are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes, it's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy, but do it right. Oh, <gasps> all the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry, I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes, all the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeeze! <laughs> oh, I think it's working. Keep shaking, Daddy. Shake harder, Mummy. Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. I'm trying my best. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> okay, everyone, watch what my disc does. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! To you, Danny! To you, Peppa! <laughs> Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. <laughs> roller disco. Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Me too. Why should I <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. 
<laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. Whoa! Are you okay, Emily? Yes, Daddy, I'm fine. <laughs> Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, Belinda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go round and round. Huh. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. Hello, Mummy and Daddy. Hello, Hello the bus. Hello, George. Hello, Daddy. Hello. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! Hello, Peppa! Hello, George! Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's skate together! <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> Everyone go the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mommy! <laughs> Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello! Ah, hello again, Peppa. Hello again, Daddy. <laughs> hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> We have to be quicker with our own music next time. Yes, I've got it ready to play. Wow, Daddy's going backwards. How do you do that? I don't know. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all time favorite song! Skate on <laughs> down <laughs> to Disco <laughs> Town! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle's roller skates are flashing! Skate on down to the Disco wow. Town! That's incredible! <laughs> Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. I wish I could do that. Me too. And me. All together. Everyone join in. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Molly. Hello, Mummy. Hello again, Peppa. This is the best roller disco ever. <laughs> Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um. Perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy! Goldie's having a birthday party! A party for a fish! That's fun! I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes! It will be the best party ever! Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. Okay, 
keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. It is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. You did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> Hello, Penny! Hi, Peppa! <laughs> this is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Yeah. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. <laughs> You all look brilliant. <laughs> Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a shark. Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a whale. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <coughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> it is! Hooray! Well done! You found the treasure! It's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Goldie. Goldie loves <laughs> undersea parties. Everybody <laughs> loves <laughs> undersea parties. Potty training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper and George. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Would Teddy like some tea? Yes, please. Teddy loves tea. <laughs> Here you are, then. Thank you very much. <laughs> George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> George likes playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Oh. <sighs> What's that smell? <sighs> poo poo. Mummy! <laughs> George is done poo poo! Do you need the potty, George? Too late for the potty. <sighs> oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. <sighs> That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy, why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Pepper. He is potty training. Hmm. He 
is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Pepper. You were just the same once. What? <laughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Pepper. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. <laughs> now I remember sitting on the potty like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty! That's right, potty! If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play Giants! <laughs> e fi fo fum I smell the smell of a clean, fresh George! <laughs> Quick, George! Hide from the giants! <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy! <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep. Have you seen a little piggy around here? <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? Yes! <laughs> he went that way! Come back, you cheeky piggy! <laughs> I'm coming to get Let's get you to your potty. George is on his potty. <laughs> well done, Pepper, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Ho, ho. The magic word is potty. So when you want to go, Call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How high can you throw the ball, Peppa? Really high. Watch this. <laughs> Catch the ball, George. <laughs> George, you called for the potty. Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up, like me. <laughs> <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. Lucky Hamper. Pepper and her friends are at play. Children, who knows what this is? It's an empty basket thing. Correct. And it is called a hamper. What is it for? We are going to raise money for a good cause. Ooh. We fill the hamper with lovely things to eat. Can we put fruit in it? How about a pineapple? And a coconut. I like bananas. Wonderful. It will be a tropical hamper. Where do we get all this fruit? Good question, Susie. Please, can you all bring lots of fruit from home? Yes, yes Madame Gazelle. We will sell raffle tickets. Your mummies and daddies write their name on a ticket. And if they are lucky, they win the hamper. Wow! It is home time. Mummy, Mummy, we are making a lucky hamper. And you could buy a ticket to win it. That sounds nice. Don't forget to bring lots of tropical fruit, children. Daddy, Daddy, we need to find fruit. Hey, what? It's for our playgroup Lucky Hamper. Ah, how about this apple? No, Daddy. It has to be Troppy Poppy Curl. Yes, Madam Gazelle did shout something about tropical fruit. <coughs> We've got this coconut. Good. <coughs> and there's this tin of pineapple slices at the back of the cupboard. Will they do? Yes. Now you need to buy a ticket. <laughs> I see. And you put your name on the ticket. Daddy Pig. If your ticket is the lucky one, you win the hamper. Fantastic. Uh, Mum, 
Mummy, can you buy the rest of my tickets? <laughs> well, I suppose it is all for a good cause. It is the next day. All the children have brought tropical fruit for the lucky hamper. Squeak! I brought bananas and a tin of pineapple. <laughs> I have a mango and four tins of pineapple. I've got a real pineapple. Wow! And a tin of pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! Our hamper is full. Now we can decorate it with tropical things like palm trees, parrots and fish. <laughs> the children are making decorations for the hamper. I'm making a palm tree. Here is the trunk and here are the leaves. <laughs> what a lovely palm tree. Let's stick it on the hamper. I am making a parrot. Wonderful. It will look good just here. I've made the sea. And I've made a tropical fish. Oh, perfect. I've made a pirate flag. Yo ho ho. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. The hamper is finished. Who will be the lucky person to win our hamper? <laughs> Hello. Hello. The parents have arrived. Thank you, everyone, for giving so much fruit for our lucky hamper. Wow. wow! Nice! It looks amazing! And thank you for buying all our raffle tickets. It is time to see who will win the hamper. Ooh. I have put all the tickets in this bucket. I shake them around so they are all mixed up. I close my eyes and pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle, there's one ticket left. Oh, my goodness, I forgot to buy a ticket for myself. <coughs> Madame Gazelle. I will just add my ticket to the rest. I close my eyes. Um, shouldn't the bucket get mixed again? And pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle. Oh, that's me! Madame Gazelle has won the hamper. That was very lucky. Hooray! <laughs> Madame Gazelle <laughs> loves lucky hampers. <laughs> Everyone loves lucky hampers. Woodland Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr. Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods, and I was raised by a family of wolves. Ooh! Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. Oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home. But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Y yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh! It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain and it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! me, me. Off you go, then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, <laughs> yes. I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks.
bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr. Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy witsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves. Loads of leaves. Bundles and jumbles of leaves. <laughs> wow, it's a cosy house now. It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! me, me, me. <laughs> Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. Police boat. Pepper, George, and Freddy Fox are sailing on the river with Grandpa Pig. Right! Who wants to play pirates? Me! 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 <laughs> Pepper, raise the pirate flag. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. Now we can pretend to be pirates. Aha! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel in their police boat. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, hello. We couldn't help noticing that you seem to be a pirate ship. You've got a pirate flag. And you've got pirate hats on. It's our job to keep the water safe from fearsome pirates. Oh, it's just a game. We are pretending to be pirates. Ah, just pretend. That's OK, then. Just playing at being pirates, so no problem. Anyway, we can't stand around chatting. We've got lots of important work to do in our police boat. Can we help you with your police work? Oh, it's serious work. And you are little children. So I think the answer has to be no. Please! Oh, all right then. Hop aboard. <laughs> Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Bye. While I wait... I suppose I could have a read of my newspaper. <laughs> this is exciting! Calling police boat. It's the police station. Emergency! Emergency! A boat is sinking. We are on our way. It is Grumpy Rabbit. His boat is sinking. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Hello, Pepper. Good to see you. What seems to be the problem? Uh, well, I built this lovely boat myself from all bits and bobs of junk, but for some reason, it won't float. A boat that doesn't float? It's lucky we were called. A boat that does not float on water. So, unless there's anything else you want to report, we'll be on our way. Uh, would it be OK if you rescued me? Of course! Grab hold of this life ring. The police boat has rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Hooray! Bye-bye, Grumpy Rabbit! Bye! This is really fun! <laughs> Calling police boat. Another emergency! 
Pilot ship on the river. Repeat, pilot ship on the river. We're on our way. Oh, looks like we've found a real pirate. Aha, me hearties. Sorry to trouble you, but we just need to check if you're a pirate. We thought we'd caught some pirates earlier, but it turned out they were just playing. That was us. <laughs> oh. Yes, well, uh, I am playing too. Wow, amazing costume. And your ship looks like the real thing. Yes, I've made a bit of an effort as it's uh, Talk Like a Pirate Day. What's that? Well, it's all for a good cause. You just have to talk like a pirate. <laughs> Pieces of eight, shiver me timbers, gym lad. Wow, you're good. Just playing at being a pirate for talk like a pirate day. Calling police boat. Traffic jam on the river. Repeat, traffic jam on the river. We're on our way. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and his boat is making a traffic jam. Wake up, Grandpa! Uh, what? Oh, Peppa! You're back. You just need to move your boat so the traffic can pass. Of course. Sorry! Hooray! The children have been a big help on the police boat today. <laughs> Peppa loves the police boat. Everybody loves the police boat. 